Hello friends, it's Jim O'Rear. Welcome back to Jim O'Rear's Wacky World. Today we are headed over to Halloween Horror Nights at Universal Orlando to look at another scare zone that they have set up this year. They have several scare zones that you have to, to get through. And uh, this one is called Dark Zodiac. If you don't know what a scare zone is, it is basically a section of the park that has props and scary lighting and monsters and things like that that you have to walk through to get from one part of the park to the other and get some scares along the way. So take a look at the Dark Zodiac experience. The procession of chainsaws starts out the Dark Zodiac scare zone. And this area right through here in the park every year is generally pretty spooky and scary and uh, very interesting this year not so much i don't really get what they were going for here i mean it's part of an overall storyline that runs through the event this year halloween horror nights is based around a certain icon character every year and this year is dr oddfellow and it follows the storyline for dr oddfellow and unfortunately if you are not familiar with that storyline None of these scare zones make a whole lot of sense or what's going on in them or anything like that. In previous years, you could just go into a scare zone and have fun. And it made sense with the monsters and it was its own little themed type thing and was very, very cool. This year, not so much. And I really don't get what these monsters are about, why they're scary, why they're fun. They obviously threw in all the chainsaw people like him to get scares out of people because people always run from chainsaws especially in the dark and we're going to show you what it looks like in the dark here in just a second so it does take on a whole different tone in the dark as you can see here with the with the lighting and things like that which makes it a lot spookier but it's still not not a a, a lot of coherent anything it's just these weird monsters <laughs> that are wandering around in oddball abstract art style props and as you see they're they're trying to scare people but it's not working a whole lot every now and then they'll get somebody you know like that right there but um it, it's uh, it's uh the the scare zones unfortunately this year feel like they were just an afterthought they waited to the last minute and they just went eh, yeah there's let's just build a few random props and throw them out there and and uh throw some people out there and some rubber masks and we'll just hope that that works there are a couple cool characters here and there like like she's pretty cool and then there's a there's a scorpion woman which is right here which is is kind of cool i wish all the arms moved um but this is very similar to what they did with a spider woman last year that had a bunch of arms in a much cooler scare zone um but uh yeah this is called dark zodiac and i i, I don't get it but <laughs> i don't get it at all but it's uh it's something i guess i'll say that it is something and that chainsaw guy's getting them and like i said that's really the only part that that really sort of frightens people is crank a chainsaw behind anybody and it's going to startle them. Um, but yeah, that's kind of a, a glimpse at, at what you can expect out there. I am, um, I was very disappointed, very disappointed in the scare zones this year. And um, this area right to the park right here is usually one of my favorite areas. It's dark and creepy. It usually has a neat theme going on with lots of neat monsters. But this year, well, there you go. You kind of saw what there is in the dark Zodiac scare zone at Halloween Horror Nights this year. There's a look inside the dark Zodiac scare zone. I I don't get it. It's eh. Mm. Universal has kind of dropped the ball this year on, on scare zones. But that's dark Zodiac. So I hope you've enjoyed watching this video. If you have, click that like button to let the powers that be know that you like the video. And while you're at it, click on follow or subscribe and you'll be notified when I upload new videos. So thanks again for watching and we'll see you next time.